Hello, myself Astha Yadmik in the title of my thesis is Wellness Architecture. Architecture has a profound impact on our lives and in recent years there has been a growing recognition in the importance of designing spaces to promote wellness today. Today, I will discuss the principles and strategies of wellness architecture and demonstrate my design and how they can be applied in uh, architectural designs. Different types of approach of design gives a different output. For example, a biophilic approach is basically connection with nature. Through research, I discovered that wellness architecture has a significant positive impact on individual communities and environment. It enhances the quality of life, support physical, mental and health, foster social intentions and promote sustainability. These outcomes underscore the value of prioritizing wellness in architecture design. The site is located at Vajreshwari in Bivandi, Maharashtra. I chose this site as there is a source of hot water spring called the Vajreshwari Hot Water Springs and can be a pulling factor for the wellness center. As compared to a nearby well-known place, Ganesh Puri, this place is not maintained properly. Also, it would generate employment for the people living there. I have done two major case studies, out of which one is life case study of Viveda, which is located at Trambakeshwar. From this, I learned how important it is to connect with nature because as I visited, the, the feeling was completely different. Also, the construction with the use of sloping roof stone was a relaxing feeling and feels like you're actually far away from the concrete jungle. The second case study is Thermi Walls. It is located in Switzerland. After studying it, I understood the importance of color, light, and ventilation. Also, the tactility of the material. I have designed a wellness center focusing on naturopathy and hydrotherapy. There are different blocks with different functions placed apart because of the requirements. Also, uh, to establish a connection between nature and built up or created more of attached semi cover spaces. Treatment block contains rooms for massage and acupuncture. The backyard gives privacy as well as ventilation for the treatment rooms and establishes a connection between nature. Hence, it gives the openness also with privacy. Meditation is one of the important part of getting relaxed and getting focused in life. The dome shaped meditation hall provides a common area of meditation where people can learn and experience to meditate. Also, individual cells are provided for meditation and the way to reach these spaces go through trees. These spaces are surrounded by dense trees which gets us close to nature. This is the accommodation cluster. It has three different spaces. One is the central courtyard which is a place for interaction, social interaction. The second is the room where they're going to stay and the third is a semi-covered katta at the backyard of each room. This is a twin bungalow or twin room, we can say. These are for the family visiting together for the interaction. The katta behind is provided. Also, this space gives the different rooms, also with privacy, but with also a space to interact. Yoga is an integral part of a wellness. This semi covered space connects with nature during the yoga process with a view of the river. The hot water screen, one of the major attraction, have a high amount of sulfur which have skin healing properties. Three pools are provided here for medication that is hot water pool, cold water pool and mineral water. Public sauna and private sauna are provided.